different riffs all the time. So, uh, tell your friends and call again soon, as the king would say. <laughs>
Ain't no big misunderstanding. Una. Back now. This time coming to you from the bottom of the ocean. What we have here, people, you bring it close to the camera. Let's see. Unagi eel. Mba. This is um, a slithery, carnivorous snake animal that we've grown to love over the years. Mm. Definitely is a good one. This is the eel and avocado roll. Pretty much happening. This is Joey Belladonna, by the way, turned me on to sushi. And I turned you on to sushi. And now your life is wrapped around the Yanagi eel. <laughs> What's it like? Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Don't be a hula. <laughs> Fresh this. Do a little unagi. Little eight. No big misunderstanding whatsoever. Hi, this is Al from Sun Red Sun. We're just looking back at some guitars in my guitar collection. Uh, Ten pre-CBS Stratocasters against the wall in custom colors to the left. As you see, Felix Papalardi's bass on the floor, original bass. Uh, Black Modern that I later sold to James Hetfield of Metallica. Some SGs, Juniors. Um, really nice vintage collection that I used to have. This was an early stage in my collection. I ended up getting a lot more colors and this towards the end, seafoam green and stuff, and all other colors. Um, we see uh, gunmetal green 66, Olympic white 65, Stratocaster, Sonic blue 63, Lake Placid blue 63, I sold to Ingve Malmsteen, 62 Strat, 57, 57, 63, 57, 63, a junior, two Vs. Um, on the floor we have some V, 63V, 58 Prototype V, Paisley Telly, Black 58 Standard, 53 Esquire, uh, Gold, 58 Les Paul, Gold Top with PAFs, original. I paid for $1,000 for it, sold it for 15 If I had it now, it would probably be worth about 100 <laughs> Oh, God. Mistakes, right? Um, it's a one-of-a-kind guitar that used to belong to Mary Ford, Les Paul's wife, real rare. Beautiful guitar, sounded good, really cool guitar. One of a kind double pick card right there, you see. Going back to SG Junior there. This is a Sunburst Les Paul 59. I use a Sunburst 59 Les Paul on the album. And this music that's playing in the background is a 59 Les Paul. This is not uh, the one though. The one I use is Ace Freely's. So that's the NBT Burst right there. And some Juniors. Leslie West made the junior famous, as you know. Modern and uh, Felix Papillardi's bass guitar. And as you know, Leslie West from Mountain helped me how to play guitar when I first started out. And that's really how it all started.
chapter eight, fill 59. We're going to play bar straight time and orchestrate the fill two different ways around the kick. Chapter 12, three note linear cross rhythm, number six. Go. Chapter 12, three note linear cross rhythm, fill 13. Five note linear cross rhythm, number five. Uh, chapter twelve, five note linear cross rhythm, number ten. Chapter 12, six note linear cross rhythm, number nine. Chapter 12, six note linear cross rhythm, number 14. Chapter 12, seven note linear cross rhythm. Help me, Emily. Number four. <laughs> Number four. <laughs> that, that. That, 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 that. Wow. Chapter 12, nine note linear cross rhythm. Number 14. your shorts. You can take your electric lady. Check out my butt. Thank you, Dave. I'm pretty good. Hey, what's up? Uh, yeah. <laughs> 
this Electric Lady Studios? Yes, this is Electric Lady Studios. May I help you? What's going on here? Nothing. I'm uh, I'm working very hard on this crossword puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> um, right now I'm standing here talking to Brian's camera. He wants to be a filmmaker. Hell, hey, Brian. Yeah. Brian. You're an assistant here at Seriously, Electric Lady Studios, aren't you? Second. That's right. How come you have that strange hat with the propeller on your head? <laughs> huh? <laughs> so you can see the shadow. On the wall. I guess it's good. <laughs> Oh. So check these murals out on the wall. Apparently these were all done by Jimmy Cooper if they're still away. And uh, I'm just walking down to the studio where we're working tonight. I'm working with some heavy rock act. Should be all down here. There's studio B. Oh, no, I don't see anyone here. Very nice. This is Sal. They've just been lacquering the floors tonight. As you can see, they look nice and shiny. This is an SSL 4000E. This one's a 64 input. Usual outboard gear 42s, 41s, it's fixed 90, 24. Focus right, Voltex, LA2As, the usual crap all up. They're the main monitors. Let's uh, see if we can find the guys here. Here's the lounge of Studio yes, A. Okay. And they're all Hello. Hey! Oh. What's up? Oh. Are we ready to rock and roll? That's it, man. You just get in? And they're all mixing in Studio A. It's a focus right now. Wow! God bless America. <laughs> Ray, reenact, reenact the scene of the crime floor. Right? Uh, I, I can't even. I can't even. <laughs> this week on Cops. <laughs> you gotta move slower, bro. Or you just you, get, you gotta get the feel of the camera. You know what we could do, with girls, with this thing? What? Film them. <laughs> Kiss them. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I'm working his ass off, you know. You know Michael Alago? Oh, yeah. He's supposed to stop down time. at uh, George Lynch tonight. Oh, really? Yeah. Those guys are good guys, you know. George asked me to sing for his band about three or four times, but I was in Badlands. And you did a song on your record? Right? I did, a, I did I a song on his Oh, you did? Yeah, that sounds cool. I did a song on his record. And uh, that was fun, you know. And at the time, I needed the money. I was out of bad hands. <laughs> so I and, and I like George too. So I was more than happy to do it. Glenn sang on his track on his. Yeah. He's had a few singers. He's got the new Badlands singer. <laughs> well, it's not Badlands anymore, but the the guy Jake's working with. His name is. Uh, he's working. He used to be with uh, Jimmy Bain in a band called War War oh, Three. Oh, uh, oh, wow. Mandy Line. Mandy Line. Do you ever hear that kid sing? Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> sing, sing is, 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 is a term I would exactly use. <laughs> evil motherfucking singer. Yeah. I mean, not evil good, evil bad. Yeah. He's like, where is this kid coming from? Yeah. Dresses him. He's, he's a very bizarre cat. I couldn't believe Jake worked. It was I remember that World War III record. That was a weird record. You got chills. That was the calm one. That wasn't the right one. That was the calm one. What's up next? Ray Gillen, the sickest prick. No, no, no. That's the sick prick here. Yeah. I don't piss on police cars. Right? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Tell a story right to the camera. Uh, well, okay. I got really shit faced last night. Tell time us about your birthday. For, for my birthday. 26th birthday. Everybody around me was pretty shit faced. Right. I had beautiful girls to the left of me, beautiful girls to the right of me, right? I was doing pretty good, right? You were doing good, right? I was, I was doing no, here we go. The Ray Gillen story. Okay. On his birthday. Yeah, I want you to get a close up of this motherfucker. Okay, right yeah, we'll need that. Sure, we'll need that. This is the evidence. I'm in on close. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Let me see. Oh, yeah. This is my ticket. As you can well see, I'm not very proud of it, but it's kind of funny. It says, urinating in public. That's <laughs> putting it mildly. What, what happened was. I got drunk as a skunk on my birthday. I went out and I peed on a cop car. Peed on a fucking cop car with two police in it. Now that's pretty crocked, right? Spent the, I didn't spend the night in jail. Mike Moses from fucking, they, they found my phone book, right? They took all my shit out of my pockets and stuff. And uh, they called the first number that they saw, which is Mike Moses who works over at Concrete, uh, Concrete Foundation, and he called, and he told the cops he knew me. Blah, blah, blah. They bailed. He, I didn't have to get bailed out. They were just busting my chops, and I can't still believe that I did that. So now, what I'm going to do next? I'm on a roll. I figured, mm, let me pee on a fucking fire truck, okay? <laughs> and then, after the fire truck, maybe an ambulance. And. Um, We'll get all three of them going, you know? But, uh... Possessed. I look possessed? Yeah. What are you re want looking at something? Old or something new? What? You know what I'm saying? You look at something old and new. Have your mind. Um, see this thing? Push that down. That little thing. Do it, Mike. All the years I was governor, kept taxes in the bottom five of all the states in the country. Kids, that's fucking mine. Shit. Here we go. Loosen up those fingers. Like in the movie. Well, I'm a little hesitant to join the notion that you can spend every 15 minutes assessing how a president's doing. I'd like to put it in the context of the broader problem. If the deficit was the big issue that the president came to Washington to handle, even after he decided, even if it was after the election, the feeling that I had is that he would have to put on the table a so bold plan as to the bomb has been spun Okay, now you warmed up. Okay, now you warmed up, Mike. Modified. One, two, three, one, two, three. I better not do it. No more. Okay, two, two. <laughs> no more. There you go. Alvin, you gotta get on you and think it, John. Do it, Alvin. Don't do it. Look. <laughs> Is there a problem? <laughs> oh, this thing is wonderful. <laughs> Be Romano. <laughs> this thing is good. I'll be. We should ring Vape Pig. Ingvay's a cunt. Does he have the Ingvay pick? Ingvay's a cunt pick. Ingvay's a cunt, right? <laughs> 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 Auto mechanic. <laughs> Seven I'm years. For a job. Yeah, huh? I work on race cars. You Eight work on race four. cars, Michael Starr? Seven years. Seven years. How many years? Yeah. We throw the fucking um, the superstar fucking uh, girl on the go right. in the bed. Right. <laughs> you know what I should have done? What? See, but she was fully clothed. Oh. I should. No. She was fully yes, clothed. That's how you should I should have threw a wank right on her. I should have took I wouldn't have done that, right? I would have called you in the room. You know oh, man. Done, right? you know this is done. rock and roll. Your problem was you treated her like a nice girl. Right? Oh, no, I didn't, man. If I would have treated her like a nice girl, I wouldn't have spanked her from the fucking sack. 
Yeah, you know. She's a right? she's a gem. We would have done, bro. We would have been winning that poor girl. God bless you. No, she's not. You don't think so? Hey, all right. Enough about my sister, man. Let's record. Let's do this. You don't see me. I won't need you. You're just a vision in my mind. Listening. We'll You're getting good at this one, ain't you, Raven? Ray, you got it. Oh, yeah, okay. You don't see me. I won't need you. You're just a vision in my mind. <laughs> yeah, this will be on the video, believe me. Listen. Oh, that was oh, good, right? That's, it says one you want to take the next section, or you want to do another one of those? Do you want to do one more? Yeah, let's do one more. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Are you there, Ray? Right? Uh, crazy individual, there, crazy right? individual, right. crazy right. individual, okay, crazy individual. Okay, one more time, same thing. Here we go. You don't see me. So it's a little after 4 a.m. and we just finished the session. In about two hours, I get ready to go to the airport to go to Florida. It was a grueling session. You saw a glimpse of it, of course. Still, what are you gonna do? See you later. Studio A, entering Sebastian Box room of party. It was a fun time. So uh, what do rock and roll do after a grueling session? Yeah. Smoke, Smoke dope, man. Hang out, have a good time, and talk about. Albie, Albie, and I smoking dope. <laughs> bottles. Ooh. What can I say, man? I see a camera. Things get a little nutty. <laughs> Us listening back to playbacks in the studio. And the guide vocals that we used to sing to. Thank <laughs> you. 
Bobby, what's the next one? When I try to talk to you, you don't even hear a lot. Well, I just don't know. Okay, I got it. Fuck, I'm right. Yeah, well, I'll go write them down. Okay. <laughs> one, two.
And right after that, we've got Sun Red Sun featuring Bobby Rons and Ellie and a bunch of good friends. I know you're going to enjoy that. God bless you.
do one call, not responsible. Yeah.